If you need a consent cookie banner that is fully compliant with GDPR, this tool is the fastest way to make it happen. Guillermo from Vercel recognized this tool and called it ShedCN for consent management, where you get to fully own and customize the experience. This tool is called C15T and they call themselves the developer first cookie banner. And as soon as I found out about this tool, I tried it out and I gotta say, it's really impressive. They are open source, meaning everything is free. Their performance is really awesome. You can customize everything, style with your own CSS. They have i18n multi-language support. So everything is really, really impressive. And I'm going to walk you through now through the implementation. And that's the reason why this video is so short because implementation is really something easiest you've seen so far for something like this. So all we need to do this is to run this CLI command. I'm going to use PMPM because I'm using PMPM on my project and I'm going to paste it inside of my terminal. So here, now we are choosing our package manager. From some reason, we are choosing our package manager twice. So I'm taking here PMPM and then we have here, if we would like to store consent decisions. So we have the hosted option, which is free and that's the fully managed service. I'm always choosing that one. That one is definitely the best. We have offline mode, self-hosted custom implementation. You can play around with it, but I'm choosing here the hosted mode and I already have the consent IO account, so I'm not going to create a new one. And I need my consent IO instance URL. I already have that one, so we are going to consent.io and there I'm going to log into my account. You're just going to create your own account for consent.io and create your own instance. So this is mine and we are going here to my settings and here is my instance URL and I'm just going to paste it inside of my terminal right here where they're asking for that one. And then we have stored the backend URL in ENV file. Yes, we are going to do it, do that. And if we are going to proxy requests to our instance with Next.js rewrites, we are also going to do that because we are not going to create API route or something like that. Everything is going to work automatically. They're updating our layout file, Next.js config. And now they're asking if we want to add required dependencies with PMPM. Yes, we want. So we are adding now the dependencies that are needed for this tool. And now would you like to start C15T on GitHub now? I'm not going to do it because I already did it, but you can do it. And there it is. So now if we go here and run our project again, we'll see just one bug. I wrote to them already about this, but that's the simple thing. It's just pulling the ENV from our sources directory and I don't have sources directory. So we are going to my next config.ts and I'm just going to delete this dot source ENV. So I don't need that. Then I can run pmpm dev and everything is working. And if we go back to my project here and we refresh my screen, then we are going to get this cookie banner that you saw on the beginning of this video and everything is working. So if I click accept all, it's not going to show until I delete my cookies and we have here customizing. So it's really everything that you need. You don't need to think about anything, GDPR compliance and things like that. And you have everything just directly out of the box. Developer first open source solutions are really killing it. Check better auth, Polar, now C15T. They're really successful and give these guys a star. They really earned it. They're building something that you can use for free and you don't have to think about anything. You're just putting in one CLI and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, Warriors. For more content like this, join the Mighty Horde. Subscribe.